I'm down here at Hilton Head, South Carolina, at the Hilton Head Motor Coach Resort. I have my Terra Trike. I'm mean, excuse me, not Terra Trike. What am I talking about? Trident Trikes. Stowaway 2. It's my homemade flag out of an old fly rod that I don't use. It's hanging in the garage. I bought one of those $40 flags. I've used it one time. It's not worth a darn. Save you money. This one cost me nothing. I'm going to ride on the beach. We're going to see how this thing does. I have the panniers. I call them saddlebags. I took off my old bicycle and put on here. Yeah, my neighbor bought one also. We have we bought them in November. And it's a great little old bike. I've never ridden a high price one, so I don't, can't really compare, but I've had no issues with this. We've just adjusted the uh, derailleurs on it a time or two, but that's from riding just about every day. So here I'm going to head off. Yeah, I'll leave the thing on for a few minutes here through the park. And uh, when I get down to the beach, we'll see what it looks like on the beach. In case any of you have a motor home, and want to come to Hilton Head Island. Hilton Head Motor Coach Resort is the place to come. Super nice lots. Really grown, real private. And right outside the driveway to the motor home park are your bike trails. You can go all over Hilton Head and never drive your car if you want to. Unless you're going a long way. The beach is about a mile down the road ride the trails all the way down there. I hear the tennis courts and gym and all that. Good morning. This is the motor coach resort only so they don't allow trailers or fifth wheels. There's another RV park just as you come onto the island that you can stay there. Of course, the bike trails aren't close, so you got to drive everywhere. That's overflow parking for your cars. I'll probably do a video later this weekend. Today's February 6th. The swimming pool. And I'll do the tour of the whole park. hard to get out of here. Okay, here I go. This is a, a gated RV park, so kind of, kind of nice. There's a winter rate, so I think it's fifty dollars a night where I'm staying on the backside. And uh, what they call the far slots, they're really nice. So. Not a bad place to stay. And it's 34 degrees this morning. So it gets cold down here in South Carolina too. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning. Well, it's after 10 o'clock actually. So, uh, we're gonna ride on down the road here. The bike trails aren't bad. There's a the check-in office right over there. It's really a pretty place. So if you wanna to come to South Carolina, to Hilton Head with a motor home, this is the place to come convenient right across the street here you got several restaurants if you like simple old country cooking the building straight over there the white looking building on the corner is the Annie O's restaurant doesn't look like much country cooking and this they load your plate up it's really nice okay this first little section you had to ride on the edge of the road the rest of it, when I get up here past this intersection, it's all uh, separated from the highway. We ride kind of kind of like a sidewalk, a combination sidewalk and multi-use type deal. So, here we go. Okay, we're on the bike path here. This is uh, the main highway leading down to uh, the beach. I forget what the name of it is now. Here's a little park. 
summertime, there'll be quite a few people on this trail. When it's 34 degrees in the middle of winter, <laughs> not too bad. In the summertime right here, this little pond, and I'll be to go across this creek. Like the sign said, do not feed the alligators. We have seen them down here. Hot summer day, they'll be laying up on the bank. And the trail parallels the floor line there. The only bad thing about Hilton Head, if you've never been here, the way their codes are, you go by Home Depot or Walmart, you'll never know it. They have them hid in the woods. They can't have any big signs on the highway. Everything down here is left as natural as possible. As many trees as possible. So it's really pretty here. Great place, got a great beach. Wish I'd show you that here in a few minutes. It's about three quarters of a mile ahead of us here. There's one of the ponds. There's a lot of bicycle shops, so if you don't want to carry your bicycle, there's dozens of bicycle rental places. None of them rent trikes. I asked about that last time I was here, before I got this one. I was going to rent one to see how I liked it. <laughs> Nobody rents them. One place carried a couple of them, or one of them. I don't even remember what kind it was. So I ended up just buying one. And another place from directly from Tom up there to try the trikes. Okay, I cut it back on. We'll get to the beach. It's a large free parking. Public parking over there. Summertime it'll fill up, but at least it's free. A lot of other parking places down here you have to pay. The beach is on the other side of this traffic circle here. sign for the pathways, all the different pathways where they go. The longest ride I've made down here was around the island, it was like 17 miles one way. A lot of fun. Here we go. Have all kinds of specialty shops. I like the one of them, the restaurant, I think. Yeah, there's a bar. There's nobody here, I'm gonna cut through here. There's a low tree limbs right there you have to walk under. How you doing? This is all the restrooms, public restrooms. You can wash off, get sand and salt water off of you. Sit around these big swings, just watch the scenery. Oh, here we're gonna go out on the beach. That water's nice. They have a mat. Right on for access to the beach. Really great, right here. Good morning. Now, this is the way to go here. Yeah. You don't have to worry about falling. And they're comfortable. And they're pretty, pretty easy to ride. Now it's got 27 gears, so you can get find a gear for you, you know, just Pick a gear that's easy to ride. A lot of fun. Comfortable. <laughs> My first time on the beach with it, so I'm fixing to see how it's going to do. 
That's the camera. Oh, camera. A video camera. Yeah, I'm, I'm videoing coming on the beach. Oh, wow. so, <laughs> so you live. <laughs> well, have fun, sir. All right, you too. See you. Yeah, this map makes it really nice, you know, for handicapped people or bicyclists. I think it's just about high tide, so I don't know if I can ride much or not. Let's see. More nice looking houses. Nothing really big, but still nice. Are you talking me or the dog? No, the dog. Nobody saw you. There's not many of these around. <laughs> I've been five miles down the beach so far. I should start turning around the island here in a little bit. I don't know how luck it might be starting to turn up here. I don't know how much farther I can go. I'll go as far as I can. And go the other way. I reached the end of where I can go. Went from hard pack to right here. Started getting softer. And then right there, I sunk down. So, for the end of this ride, the beach is getting narrow, so this is down to the point of the beach. So, I'll have to turn around and go back. Uh, about five and a half miles down the beach. Now I go five and a half back <laughs> to get where I started. And if I'm not wore out, I'll go five the other way. Just to see what it's like. Uh, fun. I just got to make sure I wash off the trike good when I get back to the coach. Uh, if my motor can hold out that long. Well, I've made it as far north as I can go. I have Inland Creek here, and the rocks stop us. So, somebody told me I could go up this path right here and go back out to the highway, take the paved bike trails the rest of the way. So, I'm going to have to pull it through this soft sand. I just looked over that hill, and I can get on it once we get to the top of the hill and ride it on out of here. Go to where those houses are, and go back to the highway. Let's see. Rode 15 miles all total <laughs> on the beach. So, pretty good.